Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Today we're going to discuss the Ford 6R140 uh, six-speed rear-wheel drive. Uh, unlike the 6R60, 6R80 transmissions that were patterned after the ZF 6HP models, the 6R140 uh, is a homegrown Ford unit. Now this transmission is a monster. It's a 300-pound transmission. Uh, goes into a lot of their big ground pounder trucks. Uh, the planetary alone is 30 pounds. The upgrade has to do with uh, the support of the planetary. Normally when the OEs make a, an upgrade, it's to in increase torque capacity. Uh, this particular uh, upgrade seems to have gone the other direction. Now the original uh, design had a bearing, a cage bearing, on the back of the center support. And this is actually the intermediate clutch housing. Uh, on the inside contain the intermediate uh, clutch components. The bearing on the back side actually rode in a plate on the front of the planetary, uh, which is just held in by screws because the, uh, the weight of the planetary is such uh, that it needed the support but what Ford did was to, in effect, omit this plate as well as the bearing itself. Now, at first, they only did this on the six-gear planetary design. They also have an eight, what they call an eight-gear planetary commercial design. And initially, they retained the bearing, but since then, They've, re, uh, they've eliminated on the eight gear as well. Uh, now there was some confusion up front and they had uh, basically four different part numbers. Um, the old des bearing design without bearing design, gas and diesel. And the gas and diesel had nothing to do with the planetary or the support. It had to do with the clutch plates. If it's a gas application, it had a certain uh, material design versus a diesel application, which had a, uh, uh, another type of material. And that was just from an engineering standpoint. Since the original uh, kits were released, they have since condensed this down to two different part numbers, one for gas, one for diesel, and quite frankly, the only difference was pre, uh, basically setting the uh, uh, instruction sheet uh, with some different uh, different references and so on. So you're looking at a, a gas application, a diesel application, because of friction plates, not anything to do with the planet or the support itself. When this bearing was omitted, Ford decided that where the support goes against the planetary, which this, this is a mechanical diode that it rides against, that there was a sufficient amount of weight that had to be addressed and they did not want wear on the back side of the support ca causing fretting. So what they did was to cut down the width of the support, 37 thousandths, to make room for this thin plate, which is an anti-fretting plate. Uh, this is similar to the old 400 transmission where the center support used to eat into the case and General Motors really cut down the support, put a snap ring behind it. This is a similar setup. So on the new applications, you're gonna have a narrower support with this 
anti-fretting ring that goes between the new planetary without, without the cage bearing to support that planetary. Uh, they also increased the thrust bearing uh, size down inside of it for torque capacity as well. So the new design, uh, whether it is an enhancement or not, or they just did it for cost reasons, remains to be seen. But the original applications you'll see with the bearing, later applications will not have the bearing or the bearing support plate that bolts to the front of the planetary. And the front of the planetary will look like this, which is just an open window. Uh, you could actually drill this and um, uh, put one of these plates in if you want to use the support. Lastly, I want to bring up the issue of the clutch plates themselves. When this transmission was first released, the friction plates were 85,000 thick, gas or diesel. In 2014, they made a modification and it reduced the thickness to 65,000. What comes in either kit has the new 65,000 thick plate, and there's only five of them. So if you're working on an older application that has six thick plates, uh, you're gonna have to do some adjusting until Ford rectifies this. So always check your intermediate clutch clearance to make sure that you have the right clearance and make sure that all three components are used together, the planetary, the ring, and the support so that you don't have in-play problems as well. In conclusion, contact your Transstar sales representative for product availability and part numbers and check the OEM part numbers in the video description. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.